All right, I'm gonna remember this time off the jump. If you like these videos, thumbs up, subscribe, all those good things. And definitely encourage you to stick around uh, as, as long as your appetite and your interest will allow to watch these videos. I have a good time doing them and I appreciate comments and feedback from you all. Uh, we've had quite a few folks comment. Um, you know, we had uh, a guest over recently, probably gonna have some few other guests lined up here soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, but today I, uh, and yes, okay. I'm wearing the same sweatshirt that you might've saw in the last video. You know what? Sometimes I record multiple videos in the same day. Bear with me. It's okay. Maybe I just need to get a t-shirt so that way, and I wear the same t-shirt every time, but you know, we're early days. We'll see. Maybe that'll come down the road. But, uh, I had picked up uh, a bourbon uh, bottle today from a local small craft distiller. And the distillery is called Haberdasher Artisan Distillery, and it's in Franklin, Indiana. And I got their bourbon whiskey finished in port casks. And this particular uh, bottle is Hunter Proof. This is batch number two, bottle number 30, for all that's worth. <coughs> but I did, didn't want to just do a... Uh, a single bottle tasting. I wanted to taste this and see if there's something else that I have and that we can compare it to. And what I know about the Haberdasher uh, Artisan Distillery is they are in the process of doing their build out of, of their distillery and tasting room. And I believe it's going to be in the garment factory in Franklin, Indiana. So if you know anything about that, check it out. Uh, I talked to him today and in the current timeline for opening their tasting room and distillery is June of 2023. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but this, um, I don't know anything about this, this Nashville. I asked, uh, I should have asked when I picked it up, but I didn't think about it till after. So I have no idea what the Nashville is on this particular bourbon. Um, but when I tasted it and tasted some other things, I put together uh, a tasting I, and I think Everything I have for you today is going to be in the small batch. And the good news about all these bourbons, I don't know a ton about them, uh, but we'll get into that here in a moment. So let's talk a, a little bit about the what I do know about the Haberdasher Artisan Distillery Bourbon Whiskey finished in Port Cask Barrel. It is hunter proof. Um, it's a two-year bourbon, so a little bit young, but it's okay. And the cost was around $70. So... And it's a cool little bottle. You know, they do the wax seal. And, and I think they make gins and bourbons and a few other uh, spirits. Don't remember everything off the top of my head. I'll provide a link in, uh, for what I know. And, and they don't have a website yet. All I can find is their Facebook page. But I'll provide a link to that in the description and the show notes as well. But as far as the nose is concerned, a little bit of a buttery note. And, um, you know, it's, it's a soft, subtle nose, nothing too strong, a little bit of ethanol, but, but, um, very, very subtle on this one. Hmm. It's interesting when I, um, tasted it earlier now, you know, fair note here I've, at this point in the evening, I've tasted a few different things. So. Uh, hopefully my palate isn't too confused, but, um, the note on that is, uh, a little buttery, but I almost had like a little coffee note on the front end, which is a little bit weird. Don't ever get coffee on bourbon. You know what? I'm going to rinse the palate just in case. Let's go on again. So again, the nose soft, subtle. A little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of butter, um, a little bit of ethanol. It's got really good legs. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but they're they're clinging to the glass really well. Um, no disrespect, but it does taste like a young bourbon. Um, but it is a good bourbon. It has. Uh, it feels hotter than, than 100 proof, if I'm being honest here. So, um, and I don't think it's barrel proof. Um, I don't have a lot of details on this one, but it's a small batch. And I think in this case, you know, I've talked a little bit in the past 
small batch is a very, very ambiguous term. It all is contingent on the size of the distiller. In this case, I think this small batch is small batch. I mean, it's probably maybe, I don't know, a couple dozen barrels. I'm not even sure how much they make at a time, but it's a good drink. He, this is going to, as this distillery gets some age and, and they get, uh, you know, uh, uh, settled and they get their, their, uh, facilities, uh, established and that sort of thing. This has a ton of potential. I can see this being really, really good here in a few years. So hopefully, uh, Haberdasher is going to keep some of their bottles and age them for a little bit longer. Cause I can see where this gets a little bit older. It's going to be really good, but it is a good drink. And I love supporting small local, uh, distillers and wineries and breweries. And you know, this is in Franklin it, it's, you know, my stomping grounds is kind of where I grew up, but it's a good drink. Uh, good drink. And, and if you're interested in, in uh, figuring out how you can get your hands on a bottle of this, uh, I don't want to say it's cryptic, but it's early days. So uh, I don't think they are in a wide release. Uh, if you message me, send me a comment, I'll send you the details on, on the, how you can get in contact uh, with Haberdasher Artisan Distillery and you can get your own products. Again, I know they make a gin. I think they make a barrel aged gin. I know they make a bourbon and they might have a few other things. I don't know their entire spirit lineup, but really good product. I'm, I'm glad that I bought that. All right. So the next one we're going to move to today is the Indiana Long Hunter Cask Strength Bourbon Whiskey. Now, this one is a little bit of a mystery to me. Uh, I don't know that much about it either. It says on the bottle that it's blended and bottled by Indiana Whiskey Company. But when I go to Indiana Whiskey Company's website, this is not on their website at all. It doesn't say distilled by Indiana Whiskey Company. So my suspicion is that it's, it's a craft distillery again. It's just uh, blended and bottled at the Indiana Whiskey Company. I don't know. If you know anything about this, let me know. I picked this up at the Paragon Liquor Store. Yeah, I just gave you a secret. That's one of my honey holes. The Paragon Liquor Store, Paragon, Indiana, has some. It has a fantastic collection of things that I don't see anywhere else. And so, check it out. Uh, um, you know, a couple of the bottles today that I'm actually both these bottles that I'm, I'm sampling today came from the Paragon Liquor Store. Haven't ever seen them anywhere else. Uh, I'm not saying you can't find these anywhere else. I'm just saying I haven't seen them anywhere else. But um, the proof on this is 112, or I'm sorry, yeah, 112.4. Um, I don't know anything about the mash bill on the haberdasher. I don't know anything about the mash bill on this. Uh, price on the um, the Indiana Long Hunter is $54. Again, on price on the haberdasher is $70. So let's dive in. See, I picked these products because when I tasted them uh, before the video, I felt like their their nose and their flavor profiles were comparable. And my impression of all these products is they're all small batch. And my impression of all these is that they're probably similar age. Uh, the Long Hunter is a three three year. This is a two year. And the one we're going to get into here in a moment, I don't know the age on this one, to be honest, but. Um, maybe you all know more about this. So if you have information about any of these products, send it to me. I'd love to know more. I keep a spreadsheet. Yeah, I get a little nerdy about it. But I keep a spreadsheet and, and notes and that sort of thing so that I can kind of track things. Um, but let's dive into the long note. I, I get a corn note on the nose. Um, again, there's a slight ethanol on the nose. It's not always the case. I know some of you who maybe aren't into bourbon and whiskey, you may say, is it every bourbon? Does it, don't they all have an ethanol nose? No, they do not. Um, this one happens to have a little bit of that though. Um, nothing else. There's no other predominant, I mean, a little bit of corn, a little bit of ethanol, but beyond that, there's nothing else that's predominant on the nose. Good legs though. I mean, these products, these craft distillers, I am, I am really liking what I'm tasting here. I mean, nothing wrong with the big boys, but some of these craft distilleries are fantastic. And I think everything I'm tasting today 
No, I lied. Two of these are Indiana, one of these is Kentucky. Um, the, the tasting notes on that one, it's a smooth drink. Um, balanced flavors, nothing like jumps out and says it's this or that. Sometimes that happens. I mean, to me, I mean, there's corn notes. I got to believe there's rye in that mash bill uh, just from the taste of notes, but it doesn't come with the heat. So I don't know, maybe I'm kind of waffling a little bit. It might be a weeder, it might be a weeder because it doesn't bring the heat like, like a rye, uh, even though the proof is, is 112 plus. So I don't know. This is a good sipper, uh, to be honest. I can see this being a Friday night sipper. Um, good, good drink. All right. So the next one uh, that I'm going to bring to you tonight is called Lady Victory Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And this one is distilled by Boundary Oak Distillery. And they, that is in uh, Radcliffe, Kentucky, I think. Yeah. I don't know that much about this distillery. And I got I to gotta confess something here. I was a sucker for the packaging. Uh, sometimes I get a bottle <laughs> and I'm sucked in because of the bottle. Uh, sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, but the packaging on this one is really cool. And what I like about their bourbons, um, I'll just read a little bit from their website. It just says, serving our military. See the list of bases here. And if your base is not listed, contact us and ask us to add it. But they have a variety <laughs> of products. They have one that's called 101st airborne and it's got an eagle head on, on the bottom 82nd airborne third infantry division whiskey lady victory which is what we're going to sample here and, and so on and so forth uh as far as the mash bill is concerned i don't know i really don't know i know it's 100 proof uh this one is a little bit up there on the price point though it's uh, 102 dollars, but the packaging is really cool so i don't we'll get in let's see if i can pull the video up here so i can see what you're seeing a little bit. Um, nice little badge on it. Uh, it says 1917. On the back it says, Society of the 1st Infantry Division. Member, members conflict, participation in World War I, World War II, Vietnam, Desert Storm, Balkans, Iraq, Afghanistan. So to me, it, it, it has a militaristic feel to it. Um, Seems like an old canteen from back in the day. Got this nice green canvas bag. Uh, again, it's got the, the nice uh, embroidery on it. Society of the First Inf Infantry D Division. Packaging sold me on this one, I'm not gonna lie. The nose on this one, really no ethanol. Butter, corn, it's like buttered corn, I would say. Buttered corn with a little bit of like um, maybe peppercorn. I would go with that. Yeah, there's a there's a peppery taste on that one, like like a like a ground pepper. It has meat. I'm gonna I would bet this one's high rye. I don't know this. If you know, let me know. Leave me a comment. It's interesting when I tasted these before the video, not not necessarily comparing them with one another. I, uh, I I thought these would all be comparable. I think the Long Hunter and the Haberdasher, they're probably cousins in, in some way, shape, or another. But I think this Lady Victory is a little bit different. I think the Haberdasher, my prediction, the Haberdasher and the Long Hunter, the mash bills are probably very similar. I think this Lady Victory. Slightly different on the mash bill. I don't know the age. I don't think on this Lady Victory unknown. It tastes a little bit older than these. So my guess on this is it's probably three plus years, probably a four year. I don't know. I'm just speculating here, but um, it's a little more spicy. Um, all right, what I buy these again on the haberdasher. Uh, Probably, uh, I'm, I'm interested to see their uh, their involvement as a distillery. 
I'd love to like hang out with, with them and, you know, take some notes, you know, no secret, but one of these days I'd love to have my own distillery. Uh, I'd like to learn from people who are distilling. I don't know if, if the, I think the community is pretty open to that. I think there are some folks that might see that as competition. Uh, to me, there's plenty to go around. I mean, I've got plenty of bottles here. Bourbon drinkers like variety and they like all kinds of different things. So, you know, I'm interested to see how this distillery evolves and I'd like to see uh, or taste some of the product as it gets a little bit older. So I don't know if they have stuff sitting around that's a little bit older than this, but I think this, this product's going to be really good as it gets a little bit older. The Long Hunter, I think there are a few, for my research, I think there are a few different Long Hunter products out there. This is the first one I've come across. So uh, to me, this is a Friday night sipper, a Saturday night sipper. This is, you know, this could be an everyday type of bourbon. And the price point isn't crazy on this one. Uh, it is, um, you know, 54 bucks. So, you know, 50, 60 buck price range. A lot of good products there, a lot of good competition, but this is really good. This Lady Victory, would I drink it again? Yeah, I probably would. Um, I think I've confused my palate a little bit by putting all of these together. I think this is just a different product than these two. Um, but I think this is a little bit, got a little bit more spice. Again, pepper, peppercorn type spice. Um, again, it's probably right, but um, all really good products. But it's a hard pill to swallow for $102, if I'm being honest. It's good. I'm glad I got it. I love the packaging. Would I buy it again? I don't know. I don't know if, you know, they have a lot of their products uh, from from the distillery, from uh, Boundary Oak, have this military theme to them. So I don't know if they're giving proceeds back to, you know, wounded, wounded veterans or, or something like that. If they are, that's awesome. If so, yeah, I'll get this again. Um, but anyway, uh, what are your thoughts? What do you know about any of these products? Um, I'm guessing very few, if any of you have ever even heard of Haberdasher, some of you might know about, uh, Lady Victory and, and Long Hunter, but I'd, I'd be curious and interested to hear your feedback on these products. So, uh, again, thumbs up if you liked what I'm sharing with you today. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do so, uh, do a, a fair amount of bourbon tastings. Going to be having some guests over from time to time. I've got some wine that's sitting here. I need to get on uh, and and make a uh, another batch of the blueberry mead. Got a few other things that I'm planning over the next few weeks. And so love your comments and feedback. So thank you all for taking time and your busy days to spend a few minutes and watching this video. And until next time, uh, this is John Spear. And uh, I'll talk to you all soon.